हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द यूनिकनेस ऑफ द टोटल सोलार इक्लिप्स दैट इज गोइंग टू ऑकर ऑन एट अप्रिल 2024 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर विच इज ऑल्सो द ग्रेट अमेरिकन सोलार इक्लिप्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वाई दिस इक्लिप्स इज यूनिक हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस सोलार इक्लिप्स दैट ऑकर्ड इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन and what is going to be the impact of this eclipse on the world on different countries and what we can expect in the months ahead due to the impact of this eclipse now a solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the sun and the earth and the moon completely blocks the light of the sun from falling on the earth thus the moon's shadow falls on the earth and the light of the sun appears to be completely blocked out a total solar eclipse occurs when the sun moon and the earth are exactly aligned and the moon is completely able to block the light of the sun from falling on the earth now if the light of the sun is blocked from falling on the earth it means that for a certain period of time the earth is going to experience darkness that is certain regions in the earth will experience darkness so which is the path of totality where the total solar eclipse will be visible so this solar eclipse will start from mexico it will go through the us across texas north america and finally it will conclude in canada around the coast of newfoundland so this is the path of totality and it includes different regions in the united states such as texas oklahoma arkansas missouri illinois kentucky indiana michigan ohio pennsylvania new york vermont new hampshire and finally it concludes in maine now in india this solar eclipse will not be visible if you are interested in the timing of the solar eclipse it will start around 9:15 pm in the night in india and it will conclude by 1:25 am on 9th april in india however being night time in india this eclipse is not going to be visible in india in united states in the region of new york this eclipse will start around 2:15 pm local time and it will reach its peak or maximum around 4 pm local time so what this means is the during the time of totality certain regions will experience a blackout because this eclipse is going to occur in the day time in united states so the regions of texas north america and the regions which i mentioned earlier such as oklahoma arkansas missouri illinois all those regions are going to experience a complete darkness for a short period of time also when the solar eclipse occurs scientists will have a unique opportunity to study coronal mass ejections which can be seen very clearly during the solar eclipse time many schools in united states might be shut down by the authorities during this time because it will be completely dark during this time now how is it different from the previous solar eclipse the previous total solar eclipse occurred on 21st august 2017 which was exactly 6 years 7 months 2 weeks and 1 day prior to 8th april 2024 so this is close to the biblical figures of 6 and 7 the number 6 and 7 have a special significance in the bible now have a look at how the paths of these two eclipses intersect so they are intersecting in the region of kentucky and you can see that this eclipse on 8th april 2024 is more intense the moon will be closer to the earth during this time and it is going to cause darkness for a significant period of time so many people will be watching this solar eclipse across the united states in canada but is this really 
a good eclipse is it going to do something good or will it bring something bad in the times ahead that is what we will now analyze now i'll narrate to you a short story from the bible there was a place called nineva which is the present day region of mosul iraq and there is a story in the bible whereby god ordered a prophet called jonah to go and preach to the people in nineva about seeking forgiveness for their sins and repenting for their sins now nineva was a town with many wicked people and therefore jonah believed that no one will listen to him he therefore did not follow the orders of god he went on a different direction than going towards nineva however when prophet jonah went in a boat there was a storm in the sea the boat overturned and he was swallowed by a fish he stayed in the belly of the fish for 3 days and 3 nights and finally the fish expelled him out from its mouth and he landed on the shore god later rebuked him and finally jonah agreed to follow the orders of god and he went to the city of nineveh and preached the people to seek forgiveness and repentance for their sins and surprisingly the people agreed they really repented and thus the city of nineveh was saved from destruction because god had promised that if they did not repent for their sins the city would be completely destroyed and believing that the people would not repent prophet jonah after preaching to the people went outside the city and stayed there for 40 days but to his surprise the people really repented and the city was saved from destruction now you might be wondering why am i telling you this story because it is believed that when prophet jonah preached to the people of nineveh at that time there was a total solar eclipse and the path of the solar eclipse is exactly the same as the path of this solar eclipse on 8th april 2024 and therefore this solar eclipse actually tells us to seek forgiveness from god and repent from our sins and if we do not do so the in the time ahead the region where this eclipse is being seen those regions can face tremendous destruction natural calamities and loss of life so since this eclipse is majorly visible in united states canada and mexico in the times ahead if the people there do not repent for their sins do not seek forgiveness from god then god will completely destroy those regions through natural calamities such as earthquakes or through human acts such as terrorist attacks and since the intersection point of this eclipse is near illinois and kentucky those regions can experience tremendous stress it is also possible that an earthquake in the californian belt may occur within a few months of this eclipse now you will be surprised to know that within the united states there are seven cities named nineva and in canada also there is a place called nineva and the path of totality corresponds to only two cities by the name of nineva not all seven cities are covered but only two cities named nineva are covered one is indiana's nineva township and other is nineva 30 minutes northwest of dayton by the path of totality so this solar eclipse actually tells us that if the people really do not repent for their sins if they continue working the same way engaging in sinful activities and not seeking forgiveness from god then this solar eclipse is going to bring a lot of destruction 
especially in United States, Canada and the European countries. And we are clearly seeing that happening right now in the form of different war fronts opening. So after this eclipse, a lot of war fronts, new war fronts will open up and countries such as United States, Canada may also now get involved in the war against Russia. Now this eclipse is occurring in the sign of Pisces and it is also happening in the Revati Nakshatra which means that there is an eclipse which affects wealth. Revati denotes lot of wealth. It is the last nakshatra and what this means is that this eclipse can bring about an economic collapse of the society of the western world and it can cause mass unemployment, huge scale famine and lot of natural calamities such as earthquakes and also terrorist attacks. Now let us answer some basic questions. Should you go out during the time of the eclipse? If it is absolutely essential, if you have some important work, really important work, then do go out. However, during the time of the eclipse, channelize your mind into prayer. Meditate on the divine being, the supreme lord. Spend more time in meditating. Spend more time in spiritual activities. And the bad effects of this eclipse will not harm you in any significant way. Now since this solar eclipse happens in the sign of Pisces which is the last sign in the zodiac belt and the sun is involved here. Sun represents people in power, people in authority, the government. So this means that during this time the governments in the western countries as well as other parts of the world will face extreme challenges. Political assassinations can happen because of the solar flares that emerge during the eclipse. It is not a good time to travel via air. So aeroplane accidents or air accidents can increase in this time period. So during the time of this solar eclipse, it is best to avoid air travel as much as possible. Chanting mantras such as the Gayatri Mantra, Surya Dwadash Namavali Stotra during the time of the eclipse will give you a lot of strength and good fortune in the future. Remember that any spiritual activity done during the time of the eclipse brings immense benefits in the times ahead. In fact, eclipses are the time when you should really meditate you should focus your mind on God. Doing donations to the poor in the form of food and monetary donations will also bring a lot of benefits in the times ahead to those who perform these charitable acts without any expectation. Now while this eclipse is going on, there is also a Saturn-Mars conjunction in the sign of Aquarius, which means that during this time, the conflicts between the common man, the army and the government will increase on a big scale. So in the western countries, civil riots are also possible within a few months of this eclipse happening. So friends, I will stop this video here. The final message that this eclipse gives is, humanity must seek forgiveness and repent for its sins before God. If that is not done, the times ahead will be very destructive, especially for the Western countries, United States and the European region as well as the Middle East region. The zodiac sign of Pisces represents the sea. The eclipse is occurring in the sign of Pisces. This indicates disturbances in the seas. Tsunamis can come as well as wars can be fought on the oceans. Now, as soon as the eclipse ends on 9th April. On 9th April 2024, the Hindu New Year begins. So the Hindu New Year also begins immediately after an eclipse. And that definitely says that 2024 is not going to be a good year. 
now within a few days after the hindu new year begins mars also moves into the sign of pisces forming an angara cube and that indicates amplification of wars on the oceans or amplification of tsunamis and storms in the oceans the bhavishya malika also talks about the ank 24 which represents the period from 9th april 2024 to 9th april 2025 and it also says that that period is a very challenging period so friends when the eclipse occurs the sun is with rahu and what it means is that we must give up our ego surrender before god and seek forgiveness for our sins only then will humanity be protected otherwise this is going to be a very destructive time ahead so friends i'll stop here otherwise this video will become very lengthy now for any queries you can write to us at astroseva world at yahoo.com you can also visit our website astroseva.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe